so this is new. So if you guys do want coins and want the best players in the game for the cheapest coins on the market, make sure to go to u7buy.com and use a discount code Visa for 5% off your total order. If you don't use a discount code, then have a cry. So enjoy the video. Hey, what's guys? And welcome to another video I'm trying to today. Let's get into a sniping guide slash sniping top 10 video. Yesterday, I did a video about the icon packs and I said to you guys that I've gone from 0 to 1 million coins on my PS4 account sniping in the last two weeks and you guys uh, said that you guys were interested in seeing how did I do it things to look out for so I thought I'd do a video about the things to look out for for you guys to make your own sniping filters because people seem to still be confused about sniping filters thinking how does it work how do you find them and it's quite easy it's simply look at the game SBCs objectives even other websites like Footbin and to use it to your advantage and to see what players go for what which players rise up which players will drop down what time should it drop down so if you guys do enjoy smash a like button we're also 5k away from 200,000 subscribers if you did that uh, that'd be insane guys and with that said let's get into the video so let's start off with how did I get from 0 to 1 million simply from sniping filters which I found from league SBCs and um, objectives so my favorite ones was like Silver's defensive um, from CSL, from, so from the Chinese league. Um, like every single Silver went for at least like 1.1k. So I, I just kept on sniping Silver's like every single 5 10 seconds. That was always listed up for like. 400 coins, 200, 300 coins, and it's really, really easy. And how did I find that? From simply looking at the game. So right now, I'm going to go through the game right now through SBCs and through objectives, and I'm going to see what I can see that would work just from looking at it. So I, I've, already, I've already got a rough idea. So let's go through um, the objectives. So season objectives, we've got the Mbappé World to find. And this, now, this has been out for a few days now, so this may not no longer work. But Wolfsburg players used to sell. So look at the objectives. See what plays you need. So here it says that you need to score a goal with a Wolfsburg player. Therefore, ideally, you should score a goal with a Wolfsburg attacker. So defenders won't be up for this because why would you need a defender to score goals? But all strikers or attackers are placed Wolfsburg. I think there's a guy called Weghorse. He went up to like 1.3k for like a day or two. So players like that is good. Always look at objectives. Also, I think there's Switzerland players. They can assist. So people like Shakiri was also up as well. But not that much though. That one's a bit of a dead one. Anyway, into the main ones here. So let's look at the icon swaps online. Now, from here, I can see it says five rivals matches with 11 UCL players. Every single UCL player will be up right now, but not every single one. There's a little tiny bit, depends, depends on how good they are. Of course, if they're a terrible player with like 30 pace, they won't really be up because no one would want, to, you know, would want to use them in rivals. But this is what is nice with this as well. It says when five rivals matches with 11 Brazilian players. Now, people will see this and try and mix, mix these two together into one um, objective. So if they win five hours games with 11 UCL players that's also Brazilian that is completing two objectives at the same time you know kill two birds with one stone here so this means I can tell already that Brazilian UCL players would be up right now so let's go into the transfer market here and I guarantee you because I know because I've checked it that this is a potential that this is a working filter right now so let's see but special Brazilian and 1.6k for him but I think it's like 1.8k I think 1.8k for each one yeah 1.8k for any Brazilian special card well UCL card here so this is one that you can potentially snipe for now this one may be a bit hard because UCL cards are kind of harder to pack than normal ones but you can try and go for the big boys so like if people want to try and go for like a like a left mid there's a few good left mids you can go for or left mid or left wing now you can try and narrow it down here so let's look at forwards here. and there's this guy called Cal for 2.2k um, I think who else is there that's also for that's Brazilian, that's also UCL. Rodrigo is also worth a decent amount. So Rodrigo and his cow guy and also Luis Ariano. There's like two, three, four, five players. Any Brazilian UCL forward is worth about, about 2.5k right now. If you list it up, you will be able to get one. So let's try right now and let's see if we can find at least one pops up for a sellable price. Let's say 2k and right there, straight away. Got one right there. Simple as that. Literally simple as that, guys. And then we could go and list them up. And then happy days, it'd be up in the market. And guys, it's literally as simple as that. Now, of course, that's not that's not much profit. It's only two, it's only like 500 coins. But 
After like what two searches, we already found one there that was up and we can make a profit off. Let's see how long it takes to get a second one. Um, of course, we may get it, we may not, you never know. But of course, look at objective. Here we go 1.7k. Ah, oh, mess it up. I didn't. Oh, never mind. 1.7k there, and he sells for, as we all know, about 2.5k. And it's literally as simple as that, guys, honestly. So that one is like, what, like 600 coins profit? Of course, you may find something like 1.2k, 1k. I think the lowest it can be is like 700 coins. So they may find some and make like a good like K profit each time. And that's one filter right there that I just found a few objectives. And guess what? It works. Let's see what else I can find. Icon swap single player. So you need a full team of Liga, BBVA, MX, so Mexican League players. You also need a full league in us, Portuguese league, Super League, Turkish league, and also a full 11 in the championship. So, let's look at the championship here, for example. What I like to do, right, I like to just start off with what gold is there. What's the cheapest gold? Cheapest gold now is all the way down here. So, let's try and narrow it down a bit more. Let's look at goalkeepers. Goalkeepers typically are needed. This one is they're very cheap because there's so many options. Okay, right back. Okay, there's no gold right backs in the championship. Okay, left backs. Wait. Let's see how much the left back is. Wait, 2k left back. There is a left back and his name is Kieran Gibbs at 2.8, 2.9k. So there's Kieran Gibbs and that is one snipe filter right there. If you're not specifically trying to snipe Kieran Gibbs, you can. Because you can make a good amount of profit off him because odds are if someone does get if someone does get him and someone does try and you know list him up, odds are they won't they won't know that he'd be worth the amount of money he actually is. So if you if you really do want to go for this one guy, then you can. Of course, the best filters are the ones that you can get multiple people at once. This one, it's just this one guy. Let's look at forwards and forwards. Um, any forward is probably minimum 900 coins. There's this Borja Baston guy. But right now, he would sell for, for probably like 850, 900. I'd imagine because he seems to be, yeah, but I'll say about 850 around there, he would sell for. But that's not the main thing about this filter is that there's this guy there's also left winger in Ivan Cav Caviero and there's also a right winger in Am Anthony Knockoff but this is not the best part because there's also two strike but this is not the best part is because there's also two strikers by the name of Mitrovic and Charlie Austin who sells for a lot Mitrovic goes to two point seven two point six k right now because of the national pride sbc and also there's west brom for charlie Austin, which i think is also worth like two point something k as well 2.2 .2, yeah about 2.2k for charlie Austin. so not just that you can get this bullshit baston guy but you can also get these two which i found quite often for like 400 coins 600 coins and like you do get these guys so let's just try out here so any forward so you can make some profit off someone like a uh, Caviero or a knockout or baston just but the main ones you want it is charlie austin and um it's charlie austin and also mitrovic now there we go and there's a mitrovic for 500 coins he sells for 2.8 2.7k right now Proof is in the pudding right now. It took me like, what, a minute, a minute and a half to find one. Literally as easy as that, guys. And this is a filter, which I found just by looking at the game. And I can listen up about, I, I'll say, 2.7 there. But for any Dortmund player, that's gold, is at least worth 1.4k. It's Mario Gotza and uh, Delaney, both worth 1.4k. Now, you know, you know what that means? That means you can try and snipe for any Dortmund player like a thousand coins and you can make good good profit here i mean you can make fantastic profit here with this sbc there's a goalkeeper that's worth like 2.3k the pack quite often you should find a lot more of these now i messed up there because uh, I, I just did shows up but you can try and snipe oh i should have got that hits one there any any bundesliga right back sells for about 850 anyone sells 850 left back sell for a bit more than that so you can snipe the entirety of the left backs in bundesliga and sell for about 850 coins guaranteed of course you could get some expensive ones that's worth at least like you know like like a k and a half around there right mids um are worth about a thousand coins as well for triore or this own um, kwan chang hoon guy so look at sbcs and see what is needed the more so we got my guy here trying to snap a eden has off about just shy of five hundred thousand coins and you know like I guarantee it was worth like 5.15, 5.20 at the time of recording. And he's just trying to scrape away like, you know, like 5.10k, 50k off his price. Just to try and save himself some coins. And lo and behold, during this, he finds that he didn't have a 61 thousand coins. That is about 450 coin profit. But that is insane. I mean, I, I, I hate these people, right? 
that when they're not even trying to snipe for actual good cars, they just find, like, who in the right mind would list up an Eden Hazard for 61.5 thousand coins? Next up is a guy trying to snipe French players from Barca. So I don't know if he's trying to snipe, you know, like, like, Umtiti, Langlet, um, Dembele, maybe trying to snipe some, some of these players for his own team, or just as a sniper filter. And lo and behold, he finds a Antoine Griezmann of 34,000 coins. Griezmann worth, I think, at the time of this, of, of this recording, like, 253 in the K, and and honestly, again, I just don't understand who would be putting this up for so cheap. Like, these guys are, like, mad. Fair play to that guy for making about 250,000 coin profit in that one sniper alone. Up next, and you won't believe this, is going to be a Neymar snipe. A Neymar snipe. This guy is trying to snipe him for 364k. Don't know why he's chose that amount, because he's worth a lot more than that. Like, a lot more. Uh, he's, like, he's worth, like, 870k. Uh, 900k, whatever he's, he is. And he's trying to snipe Neymar, and you know what is going to happen, yeah? He's going to keep trying it, and he gets a name off of 105 thousand coins, 105k for a Neymar, for a Neymar bro, he's, he's worth hundreds of thousands of coins, just shy of a million I think at the time this was done, and imagine being the guy to list him up for 105k, this guy is insane, worst part is as well is that that wasn't even like an amazing snipe, like he delayed the snipe there by like a good second or two, and he still got it, that is absolutely insane, it's a fair play to this guy, we've got this guy here as well trying to snipe himself a great one, he gets one for 25,000 coins. Again, as you saw there, he, he was stamping at 230k. It may be worth like 240, 245, 250. And he gets one for 25k. Now, my thoughts is that, again, someone may have thought that he was going to do 250k. And he accidentally did two, and he accidentally, and he accidentally did 25k. Mad. Madness, man. Next one is a bit smaller. And he, and he tries to get Lucas Moore here. And he manages to find one for 53 K, which I believe that it was worth like 30 odd K, 40 K at the time of this recording, which is very, very good profit. And honestly, again, who does this? Who does 5.3k for Lucas Moura? Next one reminds me of myself. I snapped a one by Saka one to watch for 25k when he was worth like 48, 49. This guy gets one for 9.8k. 9.8k. And you know what? I'm gonna play for you guys again, but with his reaction. Listen to this. Billy. Yo, I just got a 10k Wambi Saka. I just got a fucking 10k Wambi Saka. Oh my fucking god, we just made 40k profit, boys. GG. GG. GG, I must say. I hate you, but GG. This is beautiful. We you all dream for an icon snipe. A min price icon snipe. And guys, you're going to get a very, very good one here. Lo and behold, Icon at 107k. Most icons are worth like 130, 140. And he manages to get a Zambrotta for 70,000 coins when he sells for about 500k. About 500k. And he just, sell, he just gets him an icon snipe. Min price for 70k. And he sells for about 500k. That is about 400 plus thousand coins profit off this one step alone. And this is what we all dream of. We all dream of an icon snipe. We, we can't dream of getting a name off a mint price. That's that's ludicrous. But any icon is possible. And this guy has done it. We've got a guy here that got Rashford for 8.1 thousand coins. Which is, you know, I, I could cheek like, you know, 50k profit, I believe. Next up is a icon Yashin. Oh god, an icon Yashin, a mid icon Yashin for 69k. I think he's worth like 300k, I believe, for his uh, mid tier, maybe 290s ab above there, maybe like that. We've got a Messi for 106k. 106k for Lino Messi, which is also one of the best players in this game. Messi is worth over a million coins. Over a million, and he got one for 106 Okay, that's maybe even one million coin profit off this one snipe. Uh, wh whoever got this Messi and listed him up for this, I hope it's Captain Thomas or something because he must have lost a, I don't know, a, a FIFA bingo. I, I, he must have. He must have, man, because this is disgusting. There you go, guys. That is the end of the video. Hopefully, you found this helpful. Some tips here about sniping, what to look out for, objectives, SBCs, and how to go snipe and go about your way of business, how to find them, and how to get it done as well. Smash the like button if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. And yeah, lads, thank you guys for watching. My name is Vizel. See you next time.